Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jonathan with Referee Moto. Today, I'm going to be putting on a Harley Sundowner seat on my 2023 Harley Fatboy 114. Let's get into it. All right, so the reason we're replacing the stock seat is this seat is fine for short rides. Uh, and really, I could ride for a few hours with it, and it probably isn't really a problem, but longer rides this seat gets kind of uncomfortable there's not a lot of lot to it now it looks great i think the stock seat is definitely a highlight of the fat boys style and i've kind of been hesitant to replace the seat just because i think it looks so good and i'm worried that replacing the seat is not going to look good so here we have the box Just, oh, it looks huge. I hope it's not really huge. It looks, I think, it, I mean, I think the, the stock seat's actually pretty big too, so. Hopefully it's got a little more cushion in it without being like an old man's seat. All right, there she is out of the packaging. So I, I ordered this direct from Harley Davidson. I think if you go to their website and you haven't ordered anything before, usually they'll give you a code for like 15% off. Okay, instructions. Probably don't need those. We're going to start with this screw on the back here. Well, place that down. Okay, so after taking this, uh, after taking the screw off, this lifts up. And we have a couple of places where this slides on. I am assuming that this piece is probably anchored down somehow to this. So we're going to have to get the seat off of these pieces. These are actually just hand. Unscrew these by hand. Kind of scary how easy that is. Unscrew the second one. Okay, so. Alright, so now that we have pulled this off of the bolts. Yeah, see this strap is actually held down by that as well. So it should be able to just pull this right off and then pull this this forward. Okay, so kind of lift up on that and then pull back on the seat. Off she comes. All right. Do a little comparison of the two seats side by side. So there is the stock seat. This uh, this track this tractor right here. If you're interested, uh, at some point I'll probably try to sell it. It's a 19. It's a, called a Beaver, and it's not a joke. It's really called that. From the 1950s and it was uh, has a little one cylinder engine on top and uh, it was used for pulling um, attachments around and uh, and wag a little what carts and things like that to do around the property it was my grandfather's um, near and dear to my heart so 
you can see the two seats side by side you can just see that this one the stock seat uh you know has a lot more curve to it and this still has a curve to it but you can see it's it, it's got a lot more i guess thickness all right so let's go ahead and get the sundowner seat on show you so underneath there's this little notch here like a little tab and that tab needs to go underneath this piece here right where the uh, the shock is all right so we're gonna slide it up underneath and then it will sit back down underneath of the back the passenger seat and onto these two screws here All right, I've got the seat on the uh, under the notch here, and I've I've put the two thumb screws back in here. See them in there. It was a little bit of a battle, but not terrible. Screwing it back down now. And this thing is already just a lot more seat that is for sure so I guess that's what you gotta have as far as comfort now this is supposed to work with the stock passenger seat so I guess we'll find out I need to screw this back down now but it appears that oh you know what I, I screwed up Looks like I have to loosen this back up and then slide this back down on these uh, screws. Yeah, okay. All right, well, well, I've seemed to have run into a problem. And while it was either the Harley website or the forums or, or something told me that that this would work with the passenger seat, uh, I'm not sure it will and I'll show you why uh, so this thing's obviously thicker and you can see from the side it's definitely it's cool got the little Harley logo on it but you can see that this thing's like made for so that your butt has some padding and as a result because it's so much more size to it it's a probably a little bit longer a little more measurement to it this way and so this passenger seat which is supposed to snug up to it i've got it as snug as it will go and that's i haven't even tightened down the the, the thumb screws underneath it here and if you look this screw here is is not going to line up and i've been pushing on it and trying to get it to go and I'll I'll work with it some more, but um, I mean you can see it's as it's it's snug up on there, and it's supposed to line up, and it's not. So I guess the only other option, if I'm going to keep this seat on, is to see what it looks like without the passenger seat at all, which is kind of a bummer. I don't really ha ever have any passengers, but um, I wasn't really prepared to to be riding completely solo with this thing. Um, you know, it's it's nice to have the option, right? Uh, but let's see what it looks like with the with this completely off. Okay, so that comes off. We gotta get rid of this strap. Now we got the fender all exposed. It's cool because Harley has um, uh, this little plastic guard which protects the paint. little strap here and now you can see what we're what we're dealing with with these thumb screws
it's a rainy day today for once <laughs> we haven't had a lot of rain lately uh, so uh, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this in the garage and not taking it out into the light where I know it would be much better to to look at okay so now we have a seat and a fender and it's definitely a different look I don't know. I'm not sure if I am in love with uh, this seat from the get-go. You know, it's got all this extra thickness and everything, and that's nice for the bottom, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I can, I don't know if the looks of it will grow on me or not. It's it's a different look with with the fender all exposed like that. That's for sure. Well, moment of truth. I'm going to have a seat and test it out. I feel like I'm sitting up a little higher. I feel like I got a little more reach to the handlebars right away. So it's, it's going to change my riding position, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, once I get out and ride on a little bit, I'll let you guys know how what my impressions are of it. First impressions are, I'm not sure. I might go put the stock uh, seat back on. That's probably sooner than I think, but we'll see. It's too bad because this, uh, it wasn't cheap. It was, uh, I, I know I got a discount on it, but it was still like 200 and something, I think. Can't remember exactly what I paid for it. Maybe it was less than that. But the Sundowner seat from Harley, uh, that's the install. Harley lied and... It won't fit with the passenger stock passenger seat so either Harley lied or the comments lied um, other people that were talking about it but unless um, there's a way that I just don't know how to do it it doesn't appear to, to fit with the passenger seat so we will have to ride uh, ride with it solo and um, try that look for a little while uh, at least uh, until you know I get a feel for it and decide if, if it's something I want to keep on the bike but uh, if you've got a sundowner seat uh, or you've got a different seat that you've tried out, then uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear uh, what you have on your fat boy. Um, I know there's a lot of different seats out there for it. And uh, I wanted to give this one a, a shot. Um, first impressions, I am not super happy, but that may change as I start to ride it. So, um Here is a look at the bike with the new seat on in the light. I totally lied. It, I thought it was raining. It was raining when I walked in here just slightly. It's actually sprinkling right now, and so I'm not going to keep her out here for long. But I wanted to make sure that you guys got an idea of um, what the bike looks like in the light a little bit. That horrible buzzing sound is my from dusk till dawn light up there. This is filthy. It, it needs to be cleaned up, but that's because it's been hiding under the, uh, the other seat. So, what do you guys think? Seat's got a lot of, uh, I mean, 
Look at this. Look at how high this thing is. I'll grab, let me grab the other seat. Okay, so like just again for comparison, um, here's your here's your stock seat. Of course, uh, I'm getting all filthy. Um, and then look at, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know, that, and then there. So you can see it, it adds probably about an inch to the thickness at the lowest point here. So, yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to. You know, it, this the, the stock seat looks pretty good just because it's so low profile. This doesn't look bad though. So if you're considering a sundowner, just know that number one, it's gonna lift you up a little bit. So I don't know, that could be a bad thing. You might get a little more wind. It could be a good thing, it sits you upright. But also know that you lose your passenger seat with this sundowner seat. So I'm, I'm definitely not happy about that, but I mean, I, I don't know what else I can do, you know. Try it for a while, see if it's worth keeping on here. You know, I, I don't, I think I'm past the point of uh, being able to return it because I, I got it a while back. Um, so I'll ride with it and see how I like it. And it may be the greatest thing in the world and I'll let you know, but um, I'd love to hear from you if you do have a sundowner seat. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, a different look for the fat boy, that is for sure. Not necessarily a bad look, just a different look. Sometimes change takes some getting used to, right? Let me guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think of it? What do you think of the looks of it? I've it's been uh, I've been working all week and I haven't had a chance to ride. I can't wait to get it out and uh, ride this weekend some. Maybe we'll uh, make some new ride videos. All right, guys, God bless. That's going to do it for today. And uh, th thanks again so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Ref Free Moto. And uh, like this video it really helps me out. Uh, it's starting to rain. I'm going to get this thing inside. I mean, it really is now. Oh, crap.